What is required and who is eligible to apply for the post? We're joined by Suzette Raymond, the chairman of the board. Good morning and welcome to Morning Live, Suzette. Good morning. Thank you for inviting me. It's a pleasure. Now, we touched well, uh, a bit on some of the duties the CEO is expected to do, but who is suitable to apply for the post? Well, I would say someone who has um, experience with an artistic company. Um, possibly ballet doesn't necessarily need to be so. And who's used to... Um, working a lot with the stage, who has financial experience, um, marketing, promotion, all sorts of things. So it's a very, very wide um, set of skills required, but I'm convinced we will find the right person. Take us through ideas or all the ideas that the board has conceptualized uh, to make sure that the city's ballet is ready and is of excellence at all times. Well, um, there's obviously a lot of change. Um, change is necessary. For example, the other companies around the world also going through changes where one wants to keep the classical ballets going, but also new modern ideas, new choreographers. We need to attract the audiences. We need ballet to be something special that people want to go to the performances and experience the magic. Uh, the years of dancing that the ballet dancers go through, the training, we have to go and... It's, ballet is the ultimate sport, so it's got to be a really special experience. And uh, we're looking for someone who has new ideas, fresh ideas, who's not scared to bring change into the company. Basically, you know, to have a beautiful performing art here in Cape Town. We're very lucky in this country and in this city particularly, where uh, the arts are so um, easy to come by and, and to, to go and see, for example, abroad. It's terribly difficult and, and, and to get to the ballet, it's very expensive. And uh, this city, Cape Town, we have so many arts. We're very, very lucky, available to everybody. Now, Suzette, you mentioned change as a challenge, but what are some of the other issues that the CEO will need to tackle and work on during their period of serving? Um, they need to manage the company. They need, we need a boss there, someone who's in charge, someone who works very closely with the artistic director. So when the artistic director comes with ideas, it has to be um, discussed with the CEO and work very, very closely with them. Uh, new ideas, not to be scared to bring something new in, to be innovative. Um, all sorts of things, you know, working with the marketing and funding, fundraising, very important to, uh, as I say, to bring more people to the ballet, to, to showcase this beautiful art. Now, just finally, Suzette, you know, you've mentioned some of the elements uh, that you're looking for um, in a prospective CEO. In terms of the end goal, uh, what is the City of Cape Town Ballet hoping to achieve yes. uh, in the long run? Uh, we want to be very successful. We want to bring more audiences in. We want to excite the audiences and to have a very high standard of dance with new ideas and, uh, you know, performing art to make it Cape Town, put it on the map as a very, very special uh, Cape Town City Ballet uh, company. And just finally, Suzette, can you please remind us again, when is the deadline for the applications? The deadline for the applications is now the 3rd of August. We brought it forward uh, because there were a lot of people on holiday and we have extended this um, job to go overseas or some, all around the country, everywhere. But we did realise a lot of people on holiday and that's why we've extended it until the 3rd of August. So we're very, very happy to have applications. Suzette, thank you very much. We'll have to leave it there. That was Chairman of the Board of the City of thank Cape Town so Ballet, Suzette Raymond, joining us on what the panel is looking for in a new CEO. Just a reminder there, the deadline has been extended to the 3rd of August. I'm back with more after the break.